friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share the books that I got in December, my December book haul. Guys, my book club is great and the members in my book club went all out. I also participated in a couple of Secret Santas. Um, I'm still waiting on like one gift from a Secret Santa exchange that I did, but I just figured if I got any books from that, I can just include that in my January book haul. But let me just show you the books that I got for Christmas from members of my book club. What? like is actually happening right now. I got so many books off of my wish list that I have been wanting and I wanted to start with those but I also got another stack of books that I was either like I bought myself or I got from other avenues. We'll get into that in a minute. All right so in no particular order I got New Year's Kiss by Lee Matthews and I'm currently reading this. I'm hoping to finish this and then I can go ahead and do my December wrap up. This will probably be the last book that I read this month. Not 100% sure because I feel like I could do one more but um, I want to finish this off like today but I got this from my friend Trina from my book club and I'm just so grateful because I really wanted it and I love that it's like a holiday rom-com. We'll talk more about that in my wrap up. I got All I Want for Christmas and this one was from Sylvia. I thought so. Yeah, so I already read this one this month and I want to talk to you all about it um, in my wrap up. But this is by Win Wendy Logan and this is another holiday rom-com story. Next up, my friend Angela sent me The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. And I read this this month and yeah, we'll talk more about this in my wrap up, but I'm just so grateful because I've been hearing nothing but good things about this and it's kind of like a magical story. It has very middle grade vibes, but it's about this man that goes and studies um, this like orphanage on the Cerulean Sea. Next up, I got The Witch's Book of Self-Care, Magical Ways to Pamper, Soothe, and Care for Your Body and Spirit by Erin Murphy Hiscock. Um, and I really am so happy that I got this. This was from Shannon in my book club. And I just really love this cover. And what I love about this book is it has like recipes, but it also has like how to set boundaries and um, a mini self care disconnect to recenter at work. So it has different um, like how to stay in the moment and then it has like bath recipes and stuff like that. So it just has a lot of good information in here and um, about self-care magic, mental and emotional self-care, physical self-care, spiritual self-care, and household self-care. And I'm hoping to like actually do some of the recipes in here and stuff like that. So if you would like to see me doing that like in a vlog or something like that, let me know. I mean, it's kind of my plan anyway, um, but I'll probably also be posting about it on Instagram as well. Um, next up, Jacqueline sent me Every Last Secret by A.R. Tori, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, um, it says all she wants is the good life, but right now it belongs to someone else, but not for long. And I absolutely love this cover. And you guys know I am a big fan of Air Tori, so I'm so excited. Thank you, Jacqueline. I got this one from Karen, and it's The Sweetest in the Gale by Olivia Dade. So this is part of the Marysburg Story Collection, and I do have one other one. So I need to do these in a reading vlog as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just so thankful that I have more in the series. Also got this from Maggie, and she sent me the Giver graphic novel, which... My mind is blown because you guys know that The Giver is my favorite book of all time. And this month we were doing a challenge where one of the prompts was to read a graphic novel. And a lot of people were reading this and I was so jealous because like I didn't have it and she got it for me. So thank you so much, Maggie. And then also sent me The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And a lot of people were reading this like right when it came out and it just sounds like it's going to be a really good time. I absolutely love the cover. Gothic, dark, and utterly enthralling. A young woman living in a rigid um, 
puritanical society discovers dark powers within herself in this stunning feminist fantasy debut so you guys know that i am very picky like i don't read a lot of fantasy but when i do it's something that i have to be really really interested in and this is one that i'm really really interested in it's like i almost want to save it for october but also like i think it'll be really nice to read in the winter time so we shall see about that one Next up, I got Cover Your Tracks from my friend Penny. Um, I'm not going to try to say the author's name, but there it is on the bottom. I am in love with this book cover. Um, Penny is like one of my greatest friends ever. She introduced me to Jacqueline or Jacqueline to me, and she comments on every single one of my videos. She's watching right now. I know she is. So thank you so much, Penny. I am so excited to have this, and I really hope that I can read it very, very soon soon thriller and it's set in a blizzard and their secrets oh, i'm just so excited all right then i got both the second and the third books in the bromance book club series um this one i got from stephanie so undercover bromance i got from stephanie and this follows Liv and brayden and then i got the newest one crazy stupid bromance um from Trina. So Trina sent me that New Year's Kiss one and this, and this is Alexis and Noah. And I love it because there's like this cat cafe called Toe Beans, and I'm just really excited. So got those. And then the last book that I got from someone in my book club is The Novel Art of Murder. And this one is from Barbie. And she has a black poodle herself. It's not like a standard size poodle she has like a small poodle um i think it's called a toy but um yeah so i have this one it's the third book in the mystery bookshop series by v m burns and i'm just very very excited to continue hello sorry i have not used this camera in a hot minute so i am in the middle of editing my book haul um <laughs> I am about seven minutes into editing, or that's how much I've edited, and I got a package, and I'm thinking this is going to be my Christmas present from my other Secret Santa gift exchange, so I thought I would just open it with you guys and see what's in here. Okay, so, oh, it doesn't tell me who it's from. <laughs> it just says, yes, yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wanted this so bad. I am so excited. Oh my God, thank you so much. I have no idea who my secret Santa is, but this one sounds so good. Oh my gosh, have you guys heard about this? So on the back, it just has a letter and it says, Beckett, if you're reading this well, you know the last letter drill. You made it. I didn't. Get off the guilt train because I know if there was any chance you could have saved me, you would have. I need one thing from you. Get out of the army and get to Telluride. I don't know the name of the place. My little sister Ella is raising the twins alone. She's too independent and won't accept help easily, but she lost our grandmother, our parents, and now me. It's too much for anyone to endure. It's not fair. And here's the kicker. There's something else you don't know that's tearing her family apart. She's going to need help. So if I'm gone, that means I can't be there for Ella. I can't help them through this, but you can. So I'm begging you as my best friend, go take care of my sister, my family. Please don't make her go through it alone. Ryan. I'm so excited! On to some other books that I got this month in no particular order. I did pre-order Layla by Colleen Hoover. Um, back in October, I think I pre-ordered it or something like that. And I received it on publication day. I was so excited. I've already read it. So you will be hearing my thoughts about that very soon. I also went to the bookstore and I used a Barnes & Noble a coupon that I had for like 25% off or I don't know it was like one of those like crazy coupons or whatever and plus I have my membership so I was able to get these Violent Delights 
another name that I really, Micah, and I want to say Nemerever, <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this is a Dark Academia book, and I'm just so excited to have it. The Seeker History Meets Lie With Me, in this hitchcocky and tale of two college students, both with troubled past, whose escalating obsession with each other will radically alter the course of their lives. I mean, it sounds so good. So that's why I, like, I went out and bought that. Um, I picked up a couple things at Target. I picked up these three books at Target. So I got Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhardt. And this was on the Goodreads Choice Awards for Poetry. So I picked that up. And I also picked up Dearly by Margaret Atwood. And then I also picked up this. And I don't know if now is the time to read it, but I really just kind of wanted it. And it's called Alone Together, Love, Grief, and Comfort in a Time of COVID-19. And it is an anthology about different stories. And it just says, explore diverse perspectives on the extraordinary time of COVID-19 through essays, poetry, and interviews with these influential and vibrant literary voices. And it's a whole bunch of people and I just thought that like this time is something that is going to go down in history and it's something that you know no generation like after this or before this is going to deal with it how we dealt with it and I just thought having this to kind of not celebrate it but like talk about it in a new and interesting way would be something to have so yeah I got that and then my book of the month pick was the Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins, which I'm hoping to read soon. And then the poet M.P. Hunt sent me a copy of his poetry, Immortalized in Ink. And of course, it is signed. So I'm hoping to um, read this in January so I can, I think I'm really going to love it. Like, I was reading a little bit about it and the themes and messages and I'm just, I am really, really excited. And some of the pages do have illustrations. Um, so <clears throat> I'm excited about those. Like, look at this one. So yeah, so I'm just really excited to read this and talk to you guys about it. So I hope you're excited to hear about it. And then my mom sent me um, a couple books. I did show these. Um, I think it was on my December flashback. Um, but she sent me like some used books. Like this was hers and then some came from... Um, her neighbor. Um, so this is Chesapeake, a novel by James A. Michener and Michener, yeah. And it's just about the Chesapeake area up in the front here. So yeah, I'm really excited to have this. I don't think that I'll be reading it anytime soon because like, wow, the font is so small. But I think it'll be a challenging read and my mom said she really, really liked it. So and the other three that she sent me is How the Scots Invented the Modern World. It's kind of like a nonfiction. Um, the True Story of How Western Europe's Poorest Nation Created Our World and Everything in It by author Herman. So I got that one. And then she sent me a couple of Virginia Woolf. So here's Virginia Woolf's Three Guineas. Have this one, which I'm really excited about. And then she sent me this one, which is a bind up of two different novels, um, Jacob's Room and The Waves. But this is what this one looks like. So those are the books that I got this month. I am so blessed that I received so many from family and friends. I just want to say thank you again to everyone that sent me a book this month. It really made me smile. It made me happy. I'm so excited to read these. Some of them I have already read, so you will be hearing more about those in my end of the month wrap up. But until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!